Details of chaos on the second day of the mass killing as RCMP officers raced to track down the suspect. At one point, a Mountie even drove past the gunman's fake cruiser. By the time they realized it was him, it was too late. You get a reflective vest on, guys. Guy is driving slow, smiled as he went by. Uh... One couple called for help, even loading a shotgun after spotting the gunman pulling onto their property. But for reasons they'll never know, he left. Police missed him by minutes. His rampage continued. We have another shooting on Plains Road in DeBert. Um, they were on the phone with a Heather O'Brien, 50 years old. Heard gunshots. Heather screamed and the line went dead. O'Brien, a mother of eight, was making sure a friend was safe when the gunman pulled up next to her. A reoccurring complaint, Mounties didn't give the public enough information. Her family says she didn't know to watch out for a replica cruiser. These memorials mark the crime scenes where O'Brien and her pregnant co-worker, Kristen Beaton, were shot in separate vehicles. If we had known, then she would have been home. There's no, no question. There's no... I believe that with every inch of my soul that she would have been home if we had have known. Many of the families have told the commission about the agonizing uncertainty after their loved ones were shot, including not being able to get information about what happened. Beaton wants to see recommendations to change that, but today he said he appreciated the officer's work in a chaotic situation. You know, I'm sympathetic to the ones that were working that day. You know, it's, it's easy to, to read that and say, I'd have done this or I'd have done that. The inquiry has adjourned for a week and a half. When it resumes, it will look at the final hour of violence when three more people were murdered. Elizabeth McMillan, CBC News, Halifax.